Hello everyone, today I'm going to be... Hello, Ross, are you there? Yes, I am. Who are you? Jack. What do you want? Could you please give me some advice on the screen capturing programs and editing software o overview, please? What do you have in mind? Oh, oh, I know. How about that Camtasia program that you keep t on talking about? Please, can you tell me what is the difference between ScreenFlow 3 as well? Sure can. Okay, so here is Camtasia Studio 8. This, uh, in this review, I'm going to be talking to you about the, um, the timeline, the preview screen, and also your the library and these call outs, zoom in pan, audio transitions, cursor effects, and the more like visual pop and visual properties. So what you if you have a video clip already, just import it. So I'm just going you can either right click whoops sorry, go in your clip bin right click import media or you can click import media up the top so I'm going to import, import me media and I'm going to put in a watermark for my video so I'll just click on my watermark and press open Um, so now we'll just drag and drop and add it into track 1. You can also add tracks by pressing the plus button. Another improvement that I have, they have done is adding, um, changing the timeline's color. I've seen in videos that the old one was white. And here is your dimensions and the background color. I'm going to make the background color white. I'll show you why in a moment. And the YouTube size is 1280 by 720. And then you press OK. Now you'll have your video. Go away. Alright, so when you just roll along. Right here, I'm just going to change the size. It's that easy to change the size. Now, another feature that I like about Camtasia Studio is uh, it's exactly like ScreenFlow. If you don't own a Mac and you're looking for something like ScreenFlow 3, Camtasia Studio is what you want. So, if you've got some important information, Hang on, I'll add a new track. Say I want to pixelate something. All you have to do is get the pixelate. No, you get pic click on pixelate and add call out. And then and what it does is it will it will pixelate. what you want pixelate so say you've got someone that you don't you say if you filmed one of your friends and you don't want your that friend to be seen in the video for some odd reason you can simply blow it out like what you're seeing here so when you you'll fade in so just press play if it's and then it will come along and then it pixelates and then it will go away very handy now another thing I'm going to be wanting to sh show you is animations that's underneath visual properties in some of my videos um, there will be an animation of my feet of my watermark from the center of screen and then it will go down to the bottom right hand corner very easy how do you do that go and click on more visual properties you can ro you can rotate your image 
there's an, an animation right there and then you can scroll along right from here we want to make say we want to make this image straight so we just wrote oh you can rotate it here so now it's straight and then click add animation um so you press play the pixel will come up and then it rotates very easy um if i'm say i've got a video and i want to be showing the video and show the code what i will do is i'll rotate it and then i'll move it and make it a bit smaller and then i'll be having the code on the right hand side of the screen very 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 useful you can add a border if you want you can colorize you can drop down a shadow uh... where do i want the shadow so yep that's a shadow and then you can change the direction make it a bit more realistic this is why i chose to have the background right And then you can choose if you want the shadow to be blurred. Very, very helpful for making your presentations. What would I rate this out of 10? Well, I haven't got quite got there yet. Assuming pen makes it even more better. Say if you're doing a code in Notepad 2 and you're filming full screen like what I'm doing, well, you can easily just zoom in and use the zoom in and pen as easy and it will make an animation roll hat so you can just move it there and then it adds the animation down the bottom now let's have a look at the timeline down below shall we okay so as you can see I just added in another animation it does it automatically so as you can see it goes big screen and then goes to here so whenever you add an animation a little blue dot will show down underneath it will have visual animations now say that you have a mouse and you want it mm, hang on say you've got something very important and you want to have yeah whatever go away say you've got a code and you don't want to use a zooming pen you just want people to see on what you're doing easy all you have to do hang on uh, I just got to do is go on to cursor effects so you go more and cursor effects visual properties will replace replace it but it's easy to get go cursor effects now I don't have a screen recording so I'm just going to import a screen recording um hang on I'll just get my first episode so you can drag and drop into timeline hang on I'll just Leave me alone. Right, there we go. Yep. So just go and turn your task via search whatever video you want. Um many thing will load. And then you drag and drop into your timeline and and it will load. And I'll see how we're going with the time. It means okay. Yep, so it should be loading. If it real. Yeah, anyway. So the cursor effect it will so you can do zoom in and all of that stuff. Is this program worth its money? Let me see. You've got a zoom in pen, you've got audio, you can change your audio. You've got a library of dozens and dozens of effects. You've got callouts if you want to pixelate or blur or whatever. 
what you want. You got a zooming pan. If you've got a massive code and you want to show it to people without being blurred out, you can easily zoom in. You've got the audio, you've got transitions, so you can make it make it cube rotate. Yeah, I don't have another one for that. And then I've got cursor effects, visual properties, voice narration, record camera, captions increasing. For more in information about this, visit our website. So, what is my final score out of 10 comparing to ScreenFlow 3? All Camtasia Studio 8 is, is a Windows version of ScreenFlow 3. Stop being an idiot of using a open source program. Start using something that will make your videos look more professional. Camtasia Studio 8 is the best. My score out of 10 will be have to be a 10. 10 out of 10. I'll be putting the download link in description. For more information, please visit our website at jeffrobertone.webs.com. Thank you to Jack for telling me, asking me to do about this overview. And of course, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.